Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Rich. And this... I wish. <laughs> we have to start again. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Rich. And this is Knit Style. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode 137 of Knit Style. It is Sunday, January 22nd, 2017, and I invited Rich up to my... Oh, after 136 episodes, you finally invite me up to this <laughs> well, you room were, of yours? You were on other episodes. Yeah, but in friendly places, like downstairs like or Like in the bar. The bar. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know, we, this for place. we forgot something. Oh, no. Yes, yeah. we have to go get that. Like, well, in a minute. Okay. Anyway, so... I'm, I'm afraid to open it up here. It might explode. It'll be fine. Okay. If you say so. So, anyway... Anyway. Yes. So, welcome to episode 137, everyone. And welcome up to my cave. My upstairs kind of... Hmm. Yeah. Emily needs to move out. <laughs> Shh. Not so loud. <laughs> <laughs> she might hear you and get insulted. She won't it care. It would be nicer if she did move out. Well, I need I need room. I love having her at home. I do. But I, I would like to have my a giant studio instead of half a room. Mm. Anyway, I have a lot to go over today. So let's get started. I see that you're wearing a pussy hat today. Mm -hmm. can it's you, my pussy hat. Yeah, can you tell us? I never wore a pussy hat before. No. This is getting into, this, well, is, this I, could get I, dangerous. I'm basically just wearing it to so that women know that I support them completely. And their march yesterday was, was just, it was unbelievable, mm -hmm. the amount of women that turned out. And ladies, just think about the economic impact you could have. That's the way you demonstrate. Use your purses. That seems to be the only thing certain people understand is when you hit them in their wallet. So keep that in mind. But I... And for equal rights for not only women, but everybody. Anybody that lives in this country, that works in this country, that pays taxes, should have the same rights. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, this is America. Okay. What happens if they were not our parents in? We wouldn't oh, yeah, be here. Yeah, I mean, this true. is America. You deserve we're both the same brand, rights. You're a child of an immigrant, and I am a child of immigrants who came in other generations ago. So. Yeah, both my parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know... What if they didn't let them in way yeah, back in the, in the 20s or 30s? That'd be very different. It's, yeah. So So I, anyway, we um, I wanted to go to the march. We both did. We, there was a march up in Poughkeepsie on, on, the, walkway. on the walkway. And I 5, wanted to go. 5,000 people went over the walkway. There were. And I was very, I still, I was really sick last week. And I just needed the morning. I could not get up early to go. And we would have had to get up at the crack, butt crack of dawn to get there because parking was insane. Our daughter went. And mm. she couldn't even do it because she couldn't park. No, so, there was nowhere to park. There was nowhere and, to park. And that area of Poughkeepsie, it's hard to park because there's yeah. all houses. You can't just, you know, it's it's hard. My back was bothering me. Yeah. Because I would have went. No, we were we were thinking, but we, it just didn't work out. But there may be other protests oh, that I'm we could go sure to. I'm sure there will be. So, anyway, that's enough for the, I don't talk about politics on this show. However, I think... It's, talking about politics. You feel you feel strongly about it, and you wanted to wear the pussy hat, and I think you look very I handsome just, in the yes, pussy I hat. Support equal rights for everyone. Very good. I mean, women are the best thing in life. So you can. Why kind of, shouldn't they be treated that way? Mm -hmm. So you can kind of guess from this discussion and from Rich's attire what our political views are, <laughs> and we don't need to go further into that. No. So let's let's get started with. With the show and with knitting and okay. things like that. So, I have no idea what I'm even doing. What am I doing? You're, I don't know. I, cause I want, I don't know. I kind of wanted you on the show. You, okay. you said you wanted to support me and be on the show. So, you're, you, you have a lot of fans because of Vlogmas. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, and our last show together, our Christmas episode was really fun. Our, our New Year's, was that New Year's? I don't even, I don't even know. 2017 is is just marching along very quickly. I can't believe it's it almost the end of January. Enough. Yeah, well, halfway through, what do we have? Monday we have 95 days left before we retire. Uh, <laughs> 95 days of work and then it's all over. Yep, it will be. So, Vogue Knitting Live, very quickly. 
So let's touch on that. I had a great time last weekend. And so did I. You were away. What did so you do? <laughs> <laughs> so I had a great time. <laughs> Nobody what? to bother me. I could put on, I could listen to what music I wanted to in my car without someone. Yeah, I can. Come in, I like it. I am. I am very bossy with the radio. Oh, I'm God. horrible. I'm horrible with the radio. But anyway, so okay, so it was great. I took three classes, and I'll talk about those not today because today is crazy. But I, I um, brought some things home. I took a dyeing class, and let me get something I showed you from the dyeing class. Is it your blending board? Yes. Ooh, doesn't look like something I'd want to sit on. No, we don't want to sit on that. <laughs> You'd get pins in your butt. So anyway, we dyed these beautiful gradient mini skeins, and she split the class into groups in order to do it, and I think my group did this medium skein. And super fun, awesome class. She had it organized so well. I didn't think we would do all this dyeing in three hours, but we dyed the equivalent of three skeins in three hours, which was amazing. And it was a super great class. It was very mathy. We had to do math to figure out how much dye to put in the to oh. make this. And I want to do that. I want to try, you know, doing some math formulas and doing this with all my dyes. So that was really cool. Good. You really die cool. a lot, you should pay classes in it, I would assume. Yeah. So, I didn't really buy a lot at Vogue Knitting Live because, I don't know, I, I have to say, I, Vogue Knitting Live was awesome. The classes were the best part. Staying at the hotel was equally wonderful, and it was just a great weekend. It was a great way to celebrate my birthday, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a great time with my friend. But, I have to say... I think it was a little lacking this year. There weren't as many vendors. A lot of my favorite vendors weren't even there. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's very expensive to vend really? there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought everybody would be there. No. Oh. No, I, a lot of people I was looking for weren't even weren't there. So that was disappointing. And it, even the artwork, they always have this beautiful artwork at Vogue Knitting Live. Mm. And they had some, but not as much as they usually had. And it just... I don't know. It just was not up to par as much as I expected it to be as far as those things went. But the rest of it was great. So, I didn't buy a lot. It's in this bag. Pearl mm. Soho. You want to reach in the bag? Rich likes it's doing like this. <laughs> it's a grab bag. There's nothing in there for you. Oh. I didn't get you any. So. Oh, blue tissue paper. That's always good to have. Next. No. Okay, so this is, ooh, feel. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty soft. It's cashmere. Oh, no wonder it's so soft. And it will be even softer once I, once I wash it. But this is Hunt Valley Cashmere. And it's almost 400 yards for $30, which I thought was incredible. And this is pure cashmere. So I thought this was a great price. And... I picked white because I like having a little white shawl because it just goes with everything. So I'm going to knit this. A white very shawl? Soon. Another shawl? How unusual. I, on, I only you have. You have more shawls than you have podcasts. Do you have any idea how many I have? Probably well over 100. No, I don't have 100. I have about 45 oh, to 50. Okay. No, I, not lot. that I count. That's a lot. But anyway, I still I love them. I wear them all the time. Mm -hmm. You never see me without a shawl. I'm wearing a hand spun shawl today. I you know we went out to dinner last night. You were wrapped up in one. I was. I wore Viajanche yesterday. And I didn't vlog it. I was going to, but I didn't. Oh. Okay, next. Oh. Ooh, oh. More blue tissue paper. Ooh. <laughs> more cashmere. More cashmere. So, are, are we making a purple shawl now? Uh, how could you guess? I... Look how pretty. So this is from the same vendor, Hunt Valley Cashmere. And it's beautiful. It's just, just this deep eggplant color. And I would never have picked this up except my friend Susan took a class from Romy Hill. And Romy had all of her shawls in the class. And she had a shawl there called 
Blackjack. It's the name of, from from Outlander ca- character, I guess. Oh. I don't know. Blackjack is a character on Outlander. You know, you watch Outlander. Yeah. Blackjack, isn't he? A oh, character? Blackjack, yeah. Blackjack from Outlander. My despicable person that yeah. is, yes. Anyway, so the name of the shawl is Blackjack by Romy Hill, and it was she knit it out of cashmere in this color, and I said, I have to knit one of these, so this will be on the needles this year, and this is a lace weight, and it's 800 yards for $30, so mm-hmm. those are my big, per- that, this is pretty much it, my big purchases at, uh, at that booth, so what else do I have in there, I don't even know, oh, well, I have oh, one more, sock yarn, I know, bring it, put on, there's two in there, oh, Okay. No, I have speckles in it. No, forget it. I can't wear speckly socks. This isn't for you. No. <laughs> oh, well. And it's, not I'm for so, me. I'm making new socks, so calm down. Um, this is lace weight. It's not sock yarn. It is lace weight yarn. And it's called Mirror Ball Hand Paints. And this was a bargain. So this is... About 1,500 yards of lace weight yarn, and it is 95% fine merino, 5% stellina, and I just love the color. It's these beautiful blues and te- like dark teals with a little bit of orange speckle in there, and they were very well matched, and they had to come home with me, and I'm going to make a shrug. Oh, they with you. Yeah, they, they followed me home, and I'm going to make a... Um, a shrug with them, you know, you know what I mean, like a bolero to mm-hmm. wear out over because I'm always cold, right? Mm-hmm. I was freezing at the restaurant the other night You're for my birthday. Freezing even in the summer when we go, if it's not the air conditioning is too cold, if the heat isn't up high enough. I know. I'm, I'm, annoying. Uh, <laughs> I'm really always are. cold. So yeah, so that's pretty much it as far as yarn goes, and I don't think there's much else in there. Mm-hmm. Prescription? Oh, no, no. What is? Oh no, not that. Is there one more thing in there? One no, there's thing? nothing in here. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, from Pearl Soho, I bought. I bought a pair of pink scissors from Pearl Soho, and that's why I have the bag. Uh, that's you. it. That's all I got. But I do want to talk about something. So my friend and I really had a good time at this booth. It's called Michelle's Assortment, and she does jewelry. Jewelry. Knitting jewelry. Oh, it was like hand cream. So, not, it does look like hand cream, right? Mm. But this is a bracelet that I got. And it's stitch markers on a bracelet. So you can take these stitch markers off your bracelet and use them in your knitting. So I thought it was really cool. And what I'll do is I'll take a close-up of this with my camera and show you all the different ones but there's a sheep there's a Celtic knot there's a spider there's a spinning wheel there's a fairy little handcuffs little handcuffs yeah Yeah. for you Um, there's a New York one and there's a ball of yarn so they're really cute and I love and I really we really enjoyed this booth and the price was reasonable I mean I think it was I think it was like $16 for all of these. The bracelet was 10 and each one of the charms was like a dollar. I mean, it really was reasonable. So, I don't know. I was looking in her booth and she was such a nice lady. I was talking to her and I asked her if she wanted to sponsor the podcast because she has such awesome things. So she donated this gorgeous mm. pin to the show. Something you can use. You really- well, the shawls you have. Well, I have shawl pins. This is for the listeners, to, oh, our, okay. our viewers. So, what you need to do to win this is you need to go to the Ravelry group, my Ravelry group, uh, Knit Style Ravelry group, and I'll open up a thread. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go to um, her website. I'd like you to go to her Etsy store, Michelle's Assortment, and I'll put a link in that thread. And just tell me what you like in her in her store. Just just tell me what shawl pin or or jewelry that you like, and I'll pick a winner. So one post per person, and check out her store. It's a really it's a lovely store. So yeah, so that's the giveaway. So you're gonna pick out the winner. 
I'm going to pick the winner this week, some or mm -hmm. next week. It's easier just to pick a number out of a hat. Yeah, maybe we'll do that next week. Safer. Well, they'll all be. It'll be numbered when they go into the thread. So oh. each each response will be numbered. Oh, okay. So remember, we used to do that. We used to pick numbers out of a hat mm -hmm. years ago, on the show. Okay, so that's that. I, I forgot about that. It was a year ago. It was like last year, wasn't it? It was a couple years ago. I've been recording now for almost oh. two years. So well, we used to do bar time. We used to do bar time for audio, and we used to pick numbers out of a hat. Mm. When I did giveaways. That's right. It was just audio. That was mm -hmm. in the primitive days when cave dwellers yeah. we just had audio. I know. <laughs> well, why okay. Don't, why don't you talk for a little while? I'll sneak downstairs and get something. If okay. I don't, if I don't trip and yeah, kill go, myself over all, all right, this. He's going to sneak downstairs for a while. Stuff and... you. I'll be back. Don't be sad. <laughs> <laughs> while Rich is downstairs, I just wanted to tell you about the pussy, the hat that he was wearing. That hat is not a hat that I knit for this March at all. I just happen to have that hat. Um, it's a hat that I knit for Emily for her 21st birthday. Because Emily likes styles like that. So I knit it because I put in a Fibonacci series for, for her birthday. Because she informed me that being 21, 21 is a Fibonacci number. So for the garter ridges, I... I did them in Fibonacci numbers. So, yeah. So, I just had that hat laying around the house. <laughs> Unfortunately, nobody got to wear it for the march, but Rich seems to be enjoying wearing it for this show today. Okay. Okay. We're back. Yes. I, I didn't talk while you were gone. No. I just waited. I just oh. waited for you. So, Vogue Knitting Live, awesome. Let's go on to the next thing. So, let's talk about... We were talking about podcasts before. It is, there's, we have kind of like a double celebration. So we have my birthday, which was a big birthday. And actually, this thing he brought up, I've kind of been waiting for for a week, but I was too sick to have it mm. last week. <laughs> and it is my five year podiversary. Oh, your podiversary. I've been that? podcasting for five years. I can't believe that. That's incredible. Yeah. I was only 20 when I started. I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're only middle-aged. You're a middle-aged woman. Mm -hmm. If you was to be 120, you're middle-aged. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Okay, so why don't you show everybody what you brought? I have... A bottle of Piper Heistack champagne. A little Yay, bottle. Just a small bottle. Just a little bottle. Because I don't like champagne. Yeah. I'll have it with the chili tonight. Oh, okay. I made chili. But I thought we'd pop it to celebrate. It might go flat by the time we eat chili. It won't go flat. You'll, no? No, we'll just put it in the okay. fridge. So Rich is going to open that up. Oh, this should be fun. Watch me hit the light. Uh, blow uh, everything <laughs> up. Uh-oh. All right. I hope this doesn't explode. Well, we haven't shaken it. Yes, yeah, true. We didn't win a pennant or a Super Bowl or anything, so why would we shake it? Okay, here goes. Good. Me with my arthritic hands. <laughs> Don't point that toward me. Trying to open up a bottle of champagne. This is not good. No. Not going too well, is it? It's not going well. I will try using my shirt. Okay. Oh, there it goes. That's much better. Okay, got it? Yes. Oh, here we go, cat. Oh! He didn't even move. No, he didn't. Oh, well. But I like that sound. Okay, now let me... I'll have the rest of it with our chili. The guys will have beer with the chili. I'll have some champagne. Maybe maybe Em will share the champagne with us. With no, she me. has her. Oh, yeah, she likes bowl. cider. Yes, she's a cider girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not bad. All right, I'm going to let you do the toast. Well, here's to you. Happy birthday. Big birthday. <laughs> And? And I hope you have a whole lot more birthdays. I hope so, too. And I hope I'm here for all of them. And here's to my potiversary. Your potiversary. Yay! Anything else? Cheers. And that's... Here's to a... 95 days left of work. Yeah! That's right. And then there'll be 94 days left of work. <laughs> <laughs> this could take us a while. <laughs> Pretty good. Mmm. 
I mean, it's kind of good. I haven't had this in a long, no. long, long time. No, it's yummy. We used to drink this all the time. We did. We used Piper to have sushi. Or Chet, uh, mm -hmm. or, uh, mm -hmm. what was the other one we used to like? We used to like a lot of cavas from Spain. Mm. Those are good. But we used to have sushi on Saturday nights and have champagne with it, which was yummy and fun because I like to look at the bubbles in the candles. It's pretty. Oh. Mm -hmm. There's not too many bubbles in it. There's bubbles. Well, we only, you see? We only have a small glass, so that's why. I wish I could share with you guys, but mm, it tastes awesome. delicious. <laughs> so let me talk about what I finished this week. You want to help me show? I finished this for Vogue Knitting Live, and I could not be more excited. Look at this thing. Look at it in the monitor. It's so huge. Mm. It's beautiful. Very nice. nice colors. Thank you. This is Into the World. It's it's called Puente del Sol. I think it's it's a Spanish words about a, it's about a sunset. So it looks like a sunset, right? Mm-hmm. I spun this on my spinning Watching wheel. Watching a sunset through your wine glass, which was filled with red Spanish wine. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I spun this on my spinning wheel into a lace weight, and then I knit this up into this giant shawl. It's like 80 inches long. Yeah, it's I'm not extremely even kidding. Extremely big. Well, you must you could sleep I, in it. You saw it. Oh, oh you was could. that we had last night? No. No, you. I wore it Monday. Tuesday. One you had on last night, I thought it was, it was, you had that wrapped all around you like crazy. That's Viajonche, that's, yeah, that's a poncho, this uh -oh. is a stole. Champagne makes me, you know what. What? Oh. <laughs> I can cut it out. Extremely bad. Well, go ahead. Bert. No, I don't have I'll to. I'll cut it out. <laughs> I, I, I swallowed it. You swallowed your burp. Yes. It's going to come out really big now. So we could both wrap up in this, look. If we were if we were cold, which I'm not, see? not up here with all these bright lights, it's kind of hard to be cold. I know that's why I didn't wear it. No, oh, okay. So you don't want to get it too close to the cat. You should. Anyway, the the pattern is Nuvum by Martina Bim, and I adore it. I I wore it at Vogue Knitting Live. I wore it to work this week. You didn't notice that I wore this to work this week? No, because you wear a jacket, and by the time you take everything up, I don't uh, know. I. It well, you, we don't see each other during the day. No, not very at all. often. No, we're we're busy doing our separate things. Okay, so that's that. That's my finished object, and I'm super excited. Thank you for helping me show that. So let me just talk about what I've been working on. I'm working on another huge shawl, and I am a follower. I really am. Why? What did you follow now? Everybody is knitting this shawl. Why? Because everybody, I don't know, it's just become a thing. It's called the Find Your Fade Shawl. It has seven different colors of, of fingering weight yarn, sock weight yarn. And it starts out, it looked, remember I showed you how it started out? It looked kind of like a thong. Mm. Well, here, help me. So I have three colors almost done. And this color here is Plucky Knitter. In the triple crown colorway and I love this color it's like a mustard yellow a seasonal color yeah they were raffling off uh, not, they were auctioning off a 1970s Chevy Nova SS mm. in this color oh and that color and it was a seasonal color really there were very few made so they oh, expected wow. to go for some big bucks personally wow. I don't like it. I like it in a show. I don't like it in a car. Oh, that's an ugly color. Yes, for a car. extremely. But then again, 1970. How much taste did people have? You were enjoying that car show the other day. That was interesting. Yeah, well, those cars. You probably had some of those cars back in the day. That GTO was going for one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, brand new to stick it. They had. They still had the original sticker. It was forty-five hundred dollars. Did you have one of those? No, I always wanted one. Yeah, though. I bet. <laughs> anyway. So the second color is this El Rey Lace Merino that I got at my LYS in kind of a gray and yellow. And it's in the very stunning color of number 2750. That's the color number. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> but 
But that's this next color, and I faded it into the gold. Or the gold was first, and then oh, it faded yeah. into this. It goes nice with that. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And then my third color is what I'm working on now. And that is Plucky Knitter in... Hold on. That is Plucky Knitter in the Bedrock colorway. Bedrock. Is bedrock. Isn't that what the Flintstones used to look? That's bedrock? exactly right. No. Bedrock. <laughs> and it's a cashmere oh, merino blend. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Purple? No, 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 no. That's just the... That's a holder. Oh, that's a holder. I thought it would be the color the of the yarn. yarn. No, oh, no, no, okay. no. I was going to say, oh, that's going to clash. No, 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 no. So this is the color. So I faded that blue, gray, and gold into that oh, okay. green. Isn't that pretty? Yes. No, this is I just thought, a, yeah. This is a oh. yarn. This is even, a, even colorblind me would notice that was pretty bad. This is a yarn bra, mm. kind of. All right, so I'm just starting the lace on this third color, and I'm almost done with the third color. So the next color is going to be not green. Oh, okay. It's wrapped in a little... <laughs> it's wrapped in another no, yarn little, bra. Even the yarn gets socks. Jesus. You have socks, and I'm knitting you a pair. I'll show it in a minute. Argyles. Argyles? I'm not knitting you Argyles. No, I'm saying it looks like a Argyle. It does. Argyle. So it's anyway, this don't, is don't Vool and Vine Yarns in the Fig Bash color. And that's going to fade into this gray-green. So I'm excited about that. And then next will be these three. Another plucky. Vool and Vine in I Am No Bird. And then this beautiful pink at the end. And e. So you're making two I lost shawl. the tag on that. No, it's one whole shawl. This is going to be one whole one shawl. All this yarn. All that yarn. But you only be enough to wrap up. It's long. My car. Yeah, it's long. Megan Kel Megan of the Stockinet Zombies podcast had an Instagram post and she spread her shawl out one of these and she has three kids. Each end was longer than one of her kids. Little, you know, they were like eight, six, and four. Yeah. What do you need something so big for? It's, I don't know, because it's fun. <laughs> you wrap it around. This thing's 83 inches that I just did. Okay. It's long and skinny. It's, it's, it, you wrap it around yourself. It's wearable. It's very easy to wear. It'll be fine. Okay. Whatever. Well, then I have to wrap myself up in it. <laughs> Most of it's a cashmere blend, which is awesome. I'm still waiting for my cashmere sweater. I know. I'm going to make you a... Do you know that yarn company? Remember I was going to knit you that sweater? From the rib? From rib. That yarn company was there at Vogue Knitting Live. Oh, were they? Yeah. The yarn's kind of rustic. I don't know if you're going to like it. What do you mean rustic? It's... it's Itchy? It might be a little... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't no, know no, if he's no, going to no, like no. that I, yarn. I, I am freaky about that. I'm going to have to pick a softer yarn for him for yes, that. Yes, because I am extremely... Yeah. Oh, no. We'll pick something else. I will not else. wear a sweater over a shirt. It will drive me insane. I can't. Well, you don't you wear a shirt under your sweater? No. You don't? Oh, I can't wear two shirts. No, it's, it's against my religion. Well, then I'm gonna have to get him something very buttery. Soft. I can't. I can't wear two shirts. I, you don't. will never see really? me in layers. No, you ever see me in layers? I don't I can't know. wear two things. I can't wear something under something. It just drives me insane. I didn't even know that about you. you see that? Look what years. I learned today. I had no idea. You ever seen me in layers? No. I, Never. Uh, well, I wear layers all the oh, time. Oh, you wear layers, but I can't. Look, two shirts. Yeah, I never. No. Oh. You'll never see me in two shirts. That's good. Even to when know. I wear a V-neck sweater, do you ever see a shirt underneath it? No. I never wear a. Well, you never wear sweaters very rarely. You wear these long sleeve. Yes, one piece. One piece. Cotton. No. Wow. No. Surprises about you. Yeah, no, I can't wear layers. Hmm. I don't like two things on. Interesting. So it has to be soft. Okay. Okay, good to know. Because everything goes straight to my skin. Okay, so it'll have to be a really extra fine merino. Mm. We'll find something. Okay, so yeah, that's that shawl. And next I have been crocheting a blanket. I've been working on this in the car. A baby blanket? It's not a baby blanket. It what looks blanket like it is it. It's just a throw for me. Oh. It, it looks like a baby blanket. Yeah. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> Heavens no. 
It's not even for a hope chest, because I don't think either one of my kids are going to have kids. No. But this is... This is a... It's not... What are you, sending out signals? <laughs> I'm doing? trying to get this to... It's not... Oh, there oh. it goes. Right. I'm trying to get it to focus. So this is... This is a cro this is my crochet blanket and it's all in it is in baby colors but I love it. I like these they're happy colors. And where are we going to throw it? It's going to be my throw on my chair. And I'm going to oh. make you one with dark colors. As long as the cat doesn't lay on him. Oh, he might. Mr. Shetty. Mhm. Mm so, I've been working on that and I've also been working on this <laughs> poor shawl by Romy Hill. Don't eat it. It's a dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. It's not a bug. It's, I think it's just a piece of electronics or something. It's not anything to eat, dude. No. All right. So anyway, the next thing I'm working on is this shawl by Romy Hill. It is called Pearlless, and I actually put a little a couple rows in it this week. I would like to finish this soon because it's really pretty and I'm almost done with it so I've been trying to work on it little by little and one more thing these are Rich's socks see I told you I was knitting you socks and I finished the cuff and so now I'm starting on the foot mm -hmm. so I put in waste yarn for the foot and it's off the needle I don't know how it came off the needle which is a pain I'm gonna have to put it back on the needle mm. and the tit is just one half of one sock in there. Half of one sock. Is it? <laughs> Are you looking for the other sock? Yeah, I'm looking for something. Yeah. No, there's nothing no. in there. Okay. So, so that's it. That's all I've been working on. That big shawl is is kind of consuming me. I'm I'm using I'm knitting on that a lot. And you're through. And I've been your, doing that. Baby crochet. blanket. It's not a baby blanket. It's a throw for me. It's happy colors. Oh, happy. Oh, is that what it's it is? my oh, lollipops, okay. unicorns, and rainbows. Oh, okay. Throw. It's happy. <sighs> anyway. Okay. So the only other thing I need to talk about is I did a little dyeing mm -hmm. this week. Can you go get me those things? Would you mind? I knew you would make me get <laughs> up again. Oh, it's nice having a co-host. He could do errands for me. Yeah, nice having a co-host. He could do errands for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is a Valentine's Day color. This is the last one I'm going to do. And it is so pretty. It's pinks with a little orange and some raspberry speckles and some red speckles and i'm calling it love shack what are you calling it love shack oh love shack it matches your pussy hat look oh. look see in the monitor it matches your pussy hat oh okay it does i should call it pussy hat pussy hat <laughs> no i'm gonna call it love shack so yeah love shack okay and this one is actually I like that. Which one do you like? This one. Oh, I know. This is beautiful. Yeah, the light. It's a the very it's pale really nice. pink with gray and with black. a black speckle. Yes, very nice. And this one is called Girly Goth. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> she came with that name. That ruined the whole thing for Why? me. Why? What's wrong with the name? Girly dots? Girl, <laughs> no. It's not dirty. Birdie no. bots. No, no. No. Birdie bots. Girly goth. Girly goth. Okay. You know, goth. It's kind of gothic, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's gothic. It's got the black and the pink. I love it. So those two are going to be in the shop this week. I just dyed both of them on the two-ply sock weight that I have, the chic base. And the update will be on Wednesday... January, whatever day it is, this Wednesday. Any idea? 22nd? Let's see. Would be... Today's the 22nd, 23rd, 20, 25th. Okay. So the update will be Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. And these will all be in the shop. Okay. So one more thing I wanted to talk about with the shop. Hmm. My friend Donna 
has been a very busy girl. And we are going to do another collaboration. This is for St. Patrick's Day. This is for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, Look those how are good gets. beautiful. Feel that. Mm. It's gorgeous. So this is our St. Patrick's Day collaboration. And I love this bag. I want one. So if it doesn't sell out, I'm buying one from her. So she made 10. And she has a new logo. As you can see right here, I don't know if you can see. Donna's Designs. And I believe she's going to open up an Etsy shop very soon. Oh, good. So I'll bring some of her bags to show. But I'm going to dye yarn to match this. And we're going to do kits like we did the last time. But there's more. A bottle, Donna. A bottle of Guinness inside each one. <laughs> You'd like that. Yeah. So she made this great zipper pull for this bag. She made another needle keeper for the bag. Oh. And she also outdid herself and made stitch markers. And Donna does like stamping and all that paper kind of stuff too. And put it in this little beautiful mark here. And it's a shamrock stitch marker. I have to get in, okay. And it's beautiful as a part of the kit. So, whoever gets these, so lucky. The inside is this beautiful green with white dots. And I just, we had so much fun at lunch picking out fabric, because Donna has lunch with me. Mm. And I adore this. It's so well made. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So, that, I'm probably going to put that up in the shop this week as a kit. And the yarn will match. The yarn is a surprise. Okay. And, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. I'm excited. And we're going to be doing more of these collaborations, so. That's about it, hon. That's about it. That's pretty much how I do my show. Okay. What do you think? It looks good. Yeah? Sure. I might guess host now and then. Now and then? Now and then. I'm going to make you come up every week. No, no, no. Come on. No. People don't want to see me. They want to see what they you They want to have. see you. They want to see what you They don't want to see what I have. Doing. They want to see you because you're fun. Yes. Marrying my pussy hat. Mm. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing vlogs. Mm. We're definitely doing vlogs. I got, oh, yeah. a, I got a GoPro for my birthday. And I already put a mount in your car. Yes, I know. <laughs> For the GoPro. Can you buy extra mounts in case we, you know, we get a new car? You get a new car of at some point. Okay. No, they don't sell any other extra mounts. I knew it. <laughs> what did you know? No extra mounts. No. <laughs> no, and I and I have we. Can, there's all kinds of things we can okay. do. But then yes. You know me. I mm -hmm. like all that tech stuff. Okay. Okay. So that's about it for today. We should oh pour a little more champagne and cheers everybody at the end okay okay can you can you act can you say cheers at the same time as me uh i know it's a little hard yes we're not too coordinated with that are we no we're not okay okay so i'm gonna end the show i hope to see you next week keep up the good work ladies yes cheers, cheers. almost let's do it again Wait, aren't you going to count? Okay. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Oh, we did it. Uh, awesome. Okay. Okay, sit there. up and look at me. Look right at me. Okay. You're too tall. Maybe I should sit here? Yeah, why don't you sit over there? Oh, that's better. Okay. okay. Now we have to... Don't drink all that because we have to pose for a picture. What do you pose for a picture? We have to pose for a picture for my thumbnail. How do we do that? <laughs> I have to turn this off and then I have to put it on camera mode. So oh, we can okay. Do <laughs>